Hi everyone from wherever you're watching us across the world. My name is Nuret Liadi and with me today is Ella Drayson. I'm very happy to have Ella. Hi Ella, you're most welcome. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Yes, yeah, so to be our here. topic, yeah, the topic scrolling on your screen, as you can see, is twinkle in the life of a teacher. If you know me, if you've been following my work and social media, you'll know my adoration for Twinkle. Um, Twinkle is an educational company that helps teachers and you know, school owners to get the best out of their pupils using their resources and all of that. So here we have Ella who will be telling us more about Twinkle, how Twinkle can help you as a teacher or as a school owner. So I'm going to be asking her a few questions on how you can benefit from Twinkle in your school. And even if you already know about Twinkle, how you can get the very best out of Twinkle. I don't intend to take too much of your time. I hope this is as you know insightful, as beneficial, and as concise as possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into this session. Ella, please, can we meet you? Sure, yeah. So I'm Ella, and I'm the market coordinator for Nigeria at Twinkle. And I'm also a graphic designer. I've been mm -hmm. with Twinkle for about a year, year and a, oh, over a year now, over a year. Um, <laughs> okay. And yeah, it's been really amazing. It's great being involved in education, very rewarding. I know, I totally mm -hmm. agree. And and your designs are phenomenal. I, I love those designs. Like I love the I love the Twinkle text. I actually have it downloaded on my laptop. Yeah. Like the <laughs> font, the Twinkle yeah, font, the font. I, yeah. I use it. Um, I love it. Kids love it as well. And, you know, I love the picture. So you're doing a fantastic job. Like, uh, how, long does it, how long does it take you to create a resource? Because, like, do you create the answer key yourself or the content? Yeah, who do, who yeah. So everything is key? created within Twinkle. So there's teachers that write all the content and then the designers pick up the project and design it all. Then it goes back to the teachers to check. And then okay. when it's ready, it's put on site. So a project can take okay. anywhere between a day and a few weeks, wow. just depending on what it is. Yeah. Okay. But we've got a huge, doing a team, huge team. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You're doing a fantastic job. Okay. So how, like for someone who's just hearing, because I'm assuming that some people know nothing about Twinkle. Mm -hmm. There are people that know everything about Twinkle and there's some that know nothing. So for someone who is hearing about Twinkle for the very first time, what can you say that Twinkle actually does? Yeah, sure. So we create educational resources for all types of educators. So this is for early years and primary teachers, secondary teachers, assistant teachers, nursery workers, childminders, parents, anyone teaching from home or online remotely, um, and anyone involved with the running of a school. So we also have resources for the more like business side of running a school, um, and everything's accessible through our website, of course. So okay. uh, resources, as I said before to you, are all created by teachers. So we really know what we're doing, I feel. And <laughs> yes. this includes like lesson plans and assessments. We have games. We have a lot of online games. Um, we have entire schemes of work for classrooms. And, um, yeah, as everything's created by teachers, I think, it all kind of works all right. out pretty I, well. I can, we really understand our customers. Oh, perfect. Yeah. I can see that the three people watching us, if you can hear us clearly, kindly comment. I remember the last time I was live, some people complained about um, echoes. So if you can hear me perfectly, I would love that you give us a thumbs up or send a comment. And if you know you have any questions, feel free to drop your questions and we'll take them as we go. All right. So what kind of First of all, which curriculum does Twinkle cater to? So this is Nigeria. Like a lot of the people watching us now are Nigerians. Do you have like things that cater to Nigerian curriculum? Is it British? Is it American? Is it Australian? What kind of curriculum or curricula do you cater to? Because that's a big deal. Like, where, do you have um, Montessori materials? You know, like what what are, what are the kind of things that we find on on Twinkle? What yeah, curricula sure. do you cater to? So for Nigerian teachers or educators, we create re resources tailored to the British curriculum. We also have resources for international schools, which includes the International Baccalaureate, the International Primary Curriculum and the Cambridge Curriculum. Uh, we also have resources for learning second languages such as French and Spanish and German. And we do the American curriculum as well, um, which is 
uh, I guess, based mainly for our American subscribers, but of course, anyone can mm-hmm. access whatever they like. So there's American, there's uh, there's French, there's a, a lot of different countries. Yeah. There's Arabic even. I remember downloading yes. Arabic resources. Yeah, there is Arabic and Twinkle. Like, Twinkle yeah. is massive. Yeah, okay. that's right. So we create resources for countries all over the world, um, South Africa, America, China. So this includes resources in the languages for that country. Uh, we okay. currently have about 13 languages, I think, at Twinkle. Oh, wow. In, in resources. Okay. So Arabic, as you okay. said, and Afrikaans and Italian, Mandarin. We've got okay. a lot. Yeah. A lot, okay. A lot. So I, I'd like to ask from, you know, the people here, is anyone here a Twinkle subscriber? Please, if you've already subscribed to Twinkle, kindly send a comment. If you are a free subscriber or you're a paid anyone, I really want to know. And if you know nothing about Twinkle, please say something. So if you don't even know about Twinkle, please comment. I know nothing about Twinkle. I use Twinkle. I'd like to learn more about Twinkle. So please kindly comment. Let's, let's know what's up. Yes. So yes, you use Twinkle or you don't use Twinkle. Are you a paid user or, you know, are you a free user? Which, which one, please? And I'd like to like, what, what, what resources do you use from Twinkle? How has Twinkle helped you? This will help us to better know the questions to ask and how to benefit other people as well. Okay. Is there any African indigenous language in Twinkle? This is a good one. Uh, yeah. So you I, have as resources? I said, we have, Afrikaans. So at the moment we have a uh, we have resources for South Africa and Kenya. And at oh, the okay. moment we are trying to create resources for Nigeria, which is why I'm doing my job at the moment, of course. <laughs> so if anyone okay. has any um, ideas of things that they would like Twinkle to create, you don't have to be a paid subscriber. Just contact me. Tell me what you think we can do, and we're really interested in any great ideas from educators. Of what okay. we can do more for Nigeria. Okay. So um, I understand. I know I was talking to somebody yesterday and this person said uh, she's, she's not yet a paid user and all of that. So apart from being a paid user, can you get a lot of free resources from Twinkle? Is there, are there several benefits? Like, do I have to pay before I can benefit from Twinkle? No, I don't think so. Um, we have over 40,000 free resources on site. We also have 40, YouTube channels, which are free. Yeah, 40,000. So, and we have That's online games, which a selection of them are free. So if we, I might, sh- I might share my screen and I'll show you. Okay. Do you want to share I, your screen right now? Yeah. Should we Would do you that? Would you like to share? Okay. Show you how to look for yes. free resources. All right, good. I think that would be very helpful. That would be really helpful. So people know, yeah, because I I know when I, I think I joined Twinkle like six years ago. Mm -hmm. And I remember I started off with the free resources. Yeah, yeah. I I think you can get pretty far with free resources if you're just looking for things here and there. So, okay. So would you like to show us in a few, you know, minutes how to get the free resources on Twinkle? Yeah, sure. So yeah. this is the homepage for the Twinkle website. Um, it's going to look slightly different for everyone because this is showing me what I like to look at sometimes. <laughs> but you see up the top here, it's got a search bar. If you already know what you want, you can just type something in like free year six handwriting. Oh. I'm going to spell that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and using the word free, it'll come up with free resources. And if you see up the top here, it's already searching under free resources. Okay. And then so a, a great tip, banner, So a great tip here free. is to always include free in your searches, right? Yeah. If you already know what you're looking for, just search for free resources. Okay. And then if you don't know what you're looking for, if you just want to kind of browse the site, you can use this top bar here that's a drop-down menu. Uh, select the age that you're looking to teach or you can select English as a second language or special educational needs and disabilities, whatever you need. And under each bar, you'll see on the left here that you can go to free taster packs. So if you haven't used Twinkle before, this is really useful because you can download whole packs of resources, like multiple resources, and get an idea of what Twinkle does. So here there's handwriting packs, there's phonics, there's lots of different stuff or thing, things for like class planning, senior leadership. Um, and you can download a selection of resources that are generally like the most popular in that kind of category. And then you'll have okay. lots together to get you started. 
All right, so for everyone watching us, this is absolutely important. Some people get discouraged because they think um, you have to pay. No, you don't. You can, um, Ella just told us there are 40,000, like that's, that's huge. There are 40,000 resources on Twinkle that are absolutely free. All you need to do is to log in and you can start downloading. And like she said, there are taster packs. Like I love the packs on Twinkle because it has everything together. There are some that have like your posters, your lesson plans, PowerPoint presentations, everything in one bundle. So all you need to do is to download. So I would really encourage you to do that. Would you like to tell us the, um, the, the, the website address just for those that are just joining and might not know? Yep, sure. So it's Twinkle, which is T-W-I-N-K-L dot com dot N-G. Okay. Is there a difference? What if I use them dot, dot co dot UK? Is, That's what's fine. the difference? <laughs> it's, there's, okay. it's, there's not really any difference. Um, it'll, okay. it'll bring you to the same page as you're in Nigeria. Oh. Uh, it's just okay. easier for some people sometimes to use NG, maybe easy to remember. But, yeah, both are perfectly fine. Um, okay. So you can... Yeah, sorry, so you can sorry, either just... go to yeah dot co dot twinkle dot co dot and the yeah. twinkle is without the e. I know a lot of people yeah, make that mistake. Yeah, yeah, the twinkle. Yeah, yeah, the twinkle is without the e. And it's either dot co dot uk or dot com dot ng. So guys, please don't forget this. There are thousands of free resources. You have no idea how much I love twinkle. Like I said, I discovered twinkle about six years ago and I kind of wish I discovered it much earlier maybe it would have made my teaching much you know much easier okay to the next question are twinkle resources only for primary school like what is the range I know you spoke about that briefly initially but can you break down the range? like can, can I get things for early years can I get for secondary school can I get for preschool like how does it work your resources yeah, sure. are for what age range what age yeah. range yeah, great question. So if you're looking at my screen now, I've actually just uh, conveniently clicked on the secondary resources page. So that's the KS3, 4 and 5. Um, this is our selection of resources for secondary school, which is under the heading Beyond. It's just like what the set of resources is called, Beyond. So it's a bit different It's in its design because, of course, it's for elder children. So we have a lot of resources for secondary school and we have resources for little 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 kids who are you know zero to five as you can see wow. up the top bar five to seven seven to eleven so all through high school um, as I mentioned before we have a really great selection of resources for special needs children so this includes resources for um, children who might be autistic have dyslexia ADHD hearing impairments visual impairments um, you can search by topics, you can search by area of need. There's lots of different ways of looking through the resources. And we also have resources for uh, teaching English as a second language, which okay. of course can be very useful. And yeah. we also All have right, so a lot of things for teachers specifically, so not just for children, but things that to do with like okay. well-being relationships hygiene staff management okay. lots of different stuff yeah all right sorry to interrupt you especially no, for early fine. years I, I i know people that that ask me questions like um what are the milestones i know on twinkle you can actually get milestones for like a like an 11 month old a 24 month old i mean like things that tell you what children should be doing when they're 24 months, when they're 36 mm -hmm. months. Like, like Ella said, everything is in categories. As you can see on the top part, age zero to five. So if you are an EYFS teacher, by the way, EYFS means early years foundation stage. And this is for ages between zero to four. If you're an EYFS teacher and you're wondering, oh, this child is 24 months, what should she know? What, what are the things she should be able to do? She should be able to sing a rhyme. She should be able to know some shape. She should be able to um, smile, you know, things like this. On Twinkle, you actually, have, you actually have all these targets and milestones. And I think whilst you were scrolling, you just saw, I just saw like an EYFS taster pack. pack. Yep. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we've got okay. lots of taster packs with EYFS. Yeah. Okay, if, if you guys are listening, one thing I would recommend, anytime you're searching on Twinkle, like search for taster packs. Packs are bundles and have everything together. I'm going to admit something to you guys though. Like Twinkle has 
half a million resources. Let me repeat that. It has over half a million resources. So I agree it can be overwhelming. And I tell people that to enjoy Twinkle, you actually have to sit down and like take your time. Twinkle isn't really the website you go to when you're in a hurry to find a resource. Do you understand? Like, this is what works for me. Maybe what works for you is different, but for you to really get the best out of Twinkle, try to go minutes before your class so you can actually <laughs> search for what is most appropriate and you can download. So, like Ella said, you can have you get resources from early years all the way to secondary school. There are also resources for SEND students, which is something a lot of us struggle with. So they've made resources for kids that have dyslexia, autism, ADHD, things that hopefully should help them um you know cope better in the class so someone asked i noticed send resources are only printables anything more um for the questioner do you mean things like interactive resources or powerpoint presentations would you like to um elaborate on that question i don't yeah, know if sure. you got the question ella does that make sense to you yeah so is there any non-printable resources is that yeah what they mean yeah, so yeah, we have I a lot think. of PowerPoint presentations. That's pretty big within Twinkle. Um, so there'll be PowerPoint presentations for all of this. So you could actually search for, uh, what's it? Okay, let's look for like um, dyslexia, maybe PowerPoint. Dyslexia PowerPoint. Let's see if that comes up within Twinkle. Okay. It's just searching for dyslexia. The PowerPoints are a great way to be able to share things just with oh, the screen. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Look at that. Yeah, and we've got, we've got a lot of PowerPoint. new resources oh, too. Oh, my goodness. That's a, like Twinkle is God sent. All right, so that's so cool. That's a PowerPoint presentation helping you to under, understand dyslexia. Great. Oh, wow. Yeah, just, this... I think just on the sub subject of non-printable resources because, of course, I understand yeah. like printing is expensive. There's no, there's well, no yeah. doubt. Um, yeah. Apart from just downloading our printable resources and viewing them as like on your device, on your phone, of course you can do that. Um, but also if you, if you ever want to look at our YouTube channel, we have quite a few, let's see, let's get on the YouTube. We have a lot of resources coming up on our channels. We have two YouTube channels. So there's, the main okay. Twinkle YouTube channel. You can just type in Twinkle right. to okay. YouTube. And it's categorized by like what's popular, classroom activities, home learning, animated videos. So this is a really great way to have screen-based uh, learning as well. As you can see down the bottom here, there's a video on dyslexia. This was for Dyslexia oh, okay. Awareness Week, which started okay. up only recently. And then we okay. also have a YouTube kids channel which is great if you're just home with your kids. Like a lot of us have been this year, of course. So if you just wanna... <laughs> Thanks to COVID-19. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Or maybe you're learning at home for other reasons. You know, there's a lot of children that oh. just learn from home anyway. Yeah. So this is a yes, great, true, great true. tube. You know that they're going to okay. be learning something and watching a fun little video. So that's all free. Okay. You can check out YouTube. Okay. Okay. That's fantastic. So um, it's okay. We can take away the slides now so we can go to other questions. Sure. Do you want me to stop right. sharing for a second? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. So now let's ask, like, why Twinkle? Ella, there are a million websites on the internet. Like, why, why should we choose Twinkle? Why Twinkle out of the million websites on the internet? What makes Twinkle stand out? Yeah, there's a lot, isn't there? I think there's more every day, seriously. Um, <laughs> I think that because our resources are all created by teachers, you really know they're going to be of a high standard. We have a really big team of talented in-house designers and illustrators making all the beautiful pictures for us. There's a really rapid turnaround. So if you find a resource and you need it to be different, you can email us and we will make it for you. And this can be done very quickly. So if, if it's, you know, today on a Sunday and you email us and you say, I really need this resource, but these words need to be changed, we will try to get it back to you for the Monday lesson. Yeah, and I so know the like for, service is really good. Yes, and I know for Twinkle, like a particular resource can have colored version, uh, black and white version, low ink version, bigger print version. Like one resource in like 10, 10 different versions, which which is really good. I I I see that you keep on trying to accommodate, and they are differentiated. 
anyone want yeah, to have a lot comment of section? Resources. Yeah, does anyone mm. know um, what differentiation is? Please, I'd like to see your comments. Because differentiation is a teaching strategy used in a lot of schools now. And as the name goes, differentiation, you're creating different resources for the same topic. So, for example, let's say we're teaching children about Nelson Mandela. There's a comprehension passage. But then Twinkle would create that passage in varying levels of difficulty. Some will have, some won't have as much text as the other. Some will have as much uh, higher level higher level reasoning question. So that's, Twinkle is very, very big on differentiation. I know that if I had to get simplified resources or you know, resources at different levels, I would run to Twinkle. So I think that's something that makes Twinkle really stand out. You don't, you, you honestly don't find so many differentiated resources on the internet because differentiation is hard, Ella, it's hard. Yeah, it's it hard is hard, to, like, it's really hard. And it's, it's hard, hard for students to as well. Yeah. Yeah, because you would know. Would you like creating... me to show you an example? I've got one actually right here. So Th that would help. That one. would help. It would be really okay. nice for, for 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 people to have a feel of what a differentiate. Is it a comprehension passage? Like I yeah, really there's like a read, yeah, oh. there's a reading comprehension. So I'll share okay. my screen again. Okay, that's perfect. Let, let's see. Let's see the differentiated. Uh, all right. Let's see that. Okay. So this is the Nelson Mandela. Uh, ah, did you know? Did you know bag? I was going to say Nelson Mandela? <laughs> <laughs> I'm quick, aren't I? <laughs> so I'm I'm just logged in already. So I'm going to download this and show you what it okay. looks like downloaded. So as okay, you can perfect. see, down the bottom of each page, there's a star. I nearly pointed you, to my screen. Could you with please my zoom that in a little bit? Yeah, could you sure, please zoom sure. that in? Yeah, because it's yeah. not okay. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So down the bottom of each page, there's a star, a little star. So right. there's one, two, and three stars, depending on how difficult the the resource is. And each page okay. is, of course, like, you know, two stars is going to have a little bit more information and maybe slightly harder questions than one. Um, and they've all got questions and answers. I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see a better view of the page. They've all got questions and answers yeah. for each page. And then going up to three, yeah. it's obviously like, yeah, more text, a little bit more difficult. And we yeah, really try yeah. as designers to make them look as similar as possible because we know what it's like being a child in class yeah, could you and getting zoom in? a completely yes, different absolutely. resource. absolutely. Could you please zoom in? Like we, we, can, we can't see anything. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I think it's important that the children really feel like they're all being included. They're not absolutely. You know, given something completely different. So we, we yeah. do try and do our best to make them all look as nice as possible. Yeah. And, and you know, I'm going to confess yeah. when, when I first started using Twinkle, I didn't know what the stars meant. Like I would see one star, two stars, three stars. I didn't know. So for yeah. those of us watching, I might not know what um, those stars mean. If you see a particular Twinkle resource and there's one star, one star is like the lowest level. So that's what you should have for your like what you call your less able students if you want. And if you have two stars, that's a higher level of difficulty. And three stars is like the highest level of difficulty for your higher able students so yeah, that's, that's really good like we've spent 20 yeah we, we've spent 23 minutes i don't want us to you know go they say the shorter the better um <laughs> yeah, sure. now are, are there are there different uh subscription packages what are the packages like yeah sure so for nigeria it's really simple we've just got one um type of subscription and you can either pay monthly or yearly so of course you can just sign up for a free membership and have it for as long as you like um but we can either do a one month subscription for one thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine or you can pay Wait, for a whole year. Can you say that again? Can you say yeah, that sorry. again? How much is a how much is a monthly subscription? So in Naira, one month is one thousand nine one nine nine nine. Are you sure? Like really they've just lowered it's it. Is that cheap? Mm, oh, they've yeah, lowered they've just it. Given okay. it. Yeah, yeah. They've just given it a new price just a very recently. So that's amazing. Uh, Wow, changed it from having amazing. like different levels so this is for everything oh. this they used to have like core ultimate, you'd get like some stuff core, and ultimate. Yeah. yeah now it's just like you're free or you're paid that's all you don't Simple say you don't say that's awesome yeah, yeah. And you get 2000 like that's that's awesome yeah that's so just awesome. below 2000 wow. and then if you want to pay for a whole year you'll get a little bit of a discount so it'll be 11,000 988 so that works out to 999 per month so a little bit cheaper if you wow. want to pay for a year but whatever, whatever you think and if you're a school or some kind of organization 
there's a link on our website where you can email us and we'll do you a subscription package for a school and that's kind of priced individually so if you think that like there's lots of teachers in your school or lots of people and it's going to work out better having a a school subscription then just contact us and we'll work it out okay all right so that's awesome so and here's the question we i i get to hear all the time Mm -hmm. some customers in nigeria have difficulties paying with their credit cards ella what do you have to say about that yeah credit card issue we're very sorry to hear that this is happening i mean of course it can happen in any country it's not just nigeria specifically Mm -hmm. but um yeah so i think the best thing to do if you're having a problem paying just email us because we need to look into the reason that your payment is not going through there's not really a a set reason for everyone it might be different um but we're looking into this and going forward we're going to try and offer some alternative methods of payment like e-wallets like maybe paystack or whatever we feel so again if anyone wants to contact me and say like this isn't working but i think you should be using this then do it and i'll tell our finance team because we want to make it of course easy for everyone to subscribe yeah okay all right, so Ella, as we wrap up, um, for those people who don't even know Twinkle or they aren't using Twinkle yet, well, what do you have to tell them? Well, just sign up for free. Give it a go. There's I no know, right? Like, there's there's nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's there's nothing to a, lose. Yeah, that's right. And I'm managing the Facebook group. So if you want to join our Twinkle Nigeria Facebook group, you can talk yeah. to me directly. As I said before, you don't have to be a paid subscriber to use our customer service team. You can just contact us, tell us what you need, tell us what you think or if you have a problem and I can talk to you or someone else at the team can talk to you if you're using the website. Absolutely. Yes, I'm I'm going to send the link to the website and the uh, Facebook group so that people can just contact that up directly. So are there any questions? Yes, someone commented differentiation helps for um, different levels for crawlers, walkers, and runners. Absolutely. And like I said, having to create your resources all the time can be can be very daunting. And as a teacher trainer and you know a resource person, I tell teachers all the time, do not reinvent the wheel. Like our job is the hardest. Our job is the hardest. Like I tell people, teaching is a job that has made me cry in the classroom before. It's that task. And so if there's anything that will make your life easier, please go for it. So all you have to do is to implement. So all you have to do is just to, like, don't bother trying to create things from the scratch. A lot of work has been done already. So I mean, if you just focus on discipline issues in your class and implementation and teaching, our lives will be much easier. So yeah, are there sure. any questions? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone who has any more questions? And like Ella said, you can just sign up for free. You know, even if you don't want to be a paid subscriber now, it's fine. She already mentioned there are 40,000 uh, free resources. Their YouTube channel is free. There, there are videos there that, you know, that will benefit you as a teacher or as for your pupils as well. Um, so I think that's it pretty much. Ella also already mentioned that it's a Facebook group. I will drop the link to the Facebook group in this uh, in this broadcast for people to join if they want to, you know, ask more questions, especially if it has to do with uh, debit card issues because that's like a big deal. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So, and I'll make sure to add my uh, email address so you can contact okay. me directly if that's easy for okay. you. But I'll also put the Twinkle Cares email address, which goes straight to Absolutely. our team, and they're working twenty four seven. They're always there. Uh, okay, oh, that, that's wonderful. So any final words, Ella? For oh, those just, I'd love to speak to all of you. So join our group and I hope I get to chat to you and help you out. And if there's anything that you see on site, at the moment we're doing lots of promotions. Like if you join our Facebook group, I'll send you some free resources that are usually premium resources. So just okay. contact me and we'll make it happen. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everyone that, you know, that has taken the time to join us. We appreciate your presence. Thank you. I'm glad you guys could join. Thanks, guys. It's Sunday morning here in Nigeria and in the UK as well. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and have an energized day tomorrow in school. Take care. Goodbye. Yeah. All right. Happy Sunday. Take care. Bye, everyone. Thank you.